means you've got to take risks to follow or make your dreams a reality. It only takes one element in your life to sustain yourself. And that is consistency throughout all your obstacles. Be that one person that is loyal to one vision so that all your energy is committed and directed mainly in what your heart desires. Come on, African child. Don't lose yourself. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, African child. try for short try to remember thank you all for tuning in with me if you haven't done so already make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on the latest videos that i am going to be dropping today we are going to be talking about traveling to africa during a pandemic right so Get your notepads out, get your iPhone notes out, if you have Android, your notes, and let's get into it. So I have been receiving so many questions on, you know, what were the requirements to go? Did you have to get the back? Did you have to get the jab? You know, I was about to say, did you have to get the jab? You know, are you this? Are you that? You got a card? Y'all. So I'm going to give you the exclusive, um, what you need to know if you are deciding on traveling to Africa during this time. Things have changed. Um, you know, a few years ago, you know, you get your visa for the specific country, you book your flight, you get your, your stay, your excursions, you're good. Now the requirements, they are buckling down with everything that you need so you want to make sure that you have all your documentation and so i'm going to go through everything that i had when i recently traveled to east africa so you all let me know in the comments below what african country do you want to visit what's the african country that has been on your heart that you're like oh i just have to go there let me know in the comments below um, so, so far I have been to Ghana, I have been to South Africa three times, and I've been to Nigeria as well as Tanzania. I was in, in a layover in Ethiopia, but if I don't go outside the airport, then I don't count it. <clears throat> so, I've been to four African countries, and... I am looking to expand and visit many more in the coming years. All right, so let's just get right into it. Did I have to get the vaccine or get an immunization in order to travel to Africa? And when I first traveled to Ghana in 2014, it was a part of a organization at my alma mater howard university um this is the young african-american leadership initiative yali um i did get like the yellow fever and you know all of those requirements because it was my first time going and my mom was like you know you need to make sure you know you don't get sick and stuff so I did get those and you know those last for a few a few years so when I first went I did get those um, required shots because you know we were going with the university so they had to make sure we had documentation of XYZ just to cover their backs as well so fast forward 2021 traveling to east africa tanzania i um did not get any type of shots or any other things because 
you know, I take my health very seriously. So, you know, I make sure I stay up on my herbs, etc. So, I did not go and get anything else. But, you do have to have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of your arrival in the country. So, that can be a little tricky. They're making it so that now you have to pretty much pay for your... um your your test but i found there's local places in your county if you google like you know local testing sites in my county they have a plethora of options and usually they do give you your results within 48 hours so you just want to make sure that you know you put that in your calendar you know when you're going so you know a few days ahead of time you go get everything you need have it printed out um i made sure that i had it printed out not only on my phone like a screenshot but i had a physical copy because you just never know when you're traveling technology sometimes it messes up you can't get into it or whatever so you want to always have that physical hard copy um just so you have it on hand to show as well so and they were checking at the gate i mean as soon as i got in to even go and check my bags in there was somebody checking making sure the dates lined up you know where you went etc making sure it was negative to go to africa you need a or well, east africa tanzania you need a negative pcr test so there's two types of tests they have the rapid and then they have the pcr you need a pcr test in order to um enter into the country so that's something to take note of as well so any country that you're traveling to you want to just make sure you do your research i'm like heavy on research when i'm traveling so you know i know like the local scenes what where to go etc i reach out to people who maybe have traveled there or who live there currently so you want to definitely make sure you do your research and you know what you're getting yourself into um you don't want to just go in blind yes you want to have fun go on vacation or what have you but you always want to know your surroundings that's just in any scenario in any case so um one thing you want to know like going on the website or like googling the country and seeing if they have any like government guidelines or things that you should just be aware of things that may have been taking place in the country you know recent events you know you don't want to just go in blind you want to exercise wisdom in all that you do so a lot of countries you will need a visa for. so in order to go to tanzania you had to have a visa you could get the visa prior or you could get the visa at the airport when you arrive so i just decided to get it when i arrived because it was like too much to go and make an interview and all of this stuff to do it so it's like a hundred dollar us fee um and you do have to pay in us dollars um so you pay it they like ask you how long you're going to be staying what's your reason for travel where are you going to be staying you have to have an address a physical address to give to them um africa is a little different east africa like some certain addresses are like they're just like the street name but you just have to have a location that you will be staying at and that's just for safety precautions if something happens then they'll be able to locate you or let your emergency contact know where you are so like I said, you want to be organized and make sure you have all your paperwork. So I had my printed negative test. I had, um, I have like a records of like all the past like um, shots or whatever that I have taken. Um, like when I was younger or first starting to travel when I traveled out of the country to China and Ghana, etc. Um, so I have that as well. Of course, you're going to know you need your passport on hand um it's always good to have like a copy of your birth certificate just in case um you don't need to take the real thing but just having a copy of your birth certificate and then a copy of your photo page in your passport booklet you know and that's just to have it just in case if you need to show identification or just having it on your person while you are traveling so with that being said, packing, um, you want to make sure I like to have what I need instead of 
need something and don't have it. So I don't I don't overpack anymore. I've gotten better with that now that I've, you know, traveled more extensively, but um, some of my essentials that I have on my list, um, a portable charger. You, you want a portable charger and then you also want um, like a adapter to go into the wall because a lot of different countries don't have the same you, like ports that we have in the U.S. So those are two essentials that you definitely would want. And I'm going to link um, my portable charger that I use um, as well. So if you all are interested in that. Um, uh, a little fanny pack is really good or like a little knapsack for guys or whatever something to where you can have on your person something small not too bulky um, that you can have on your person just to keep your essential personal items your passport you know your documentation um, a few of you know your currency that you might have on you I like to split up you know my money and stuff but um definitely you want to have something that you can keep on you at all times you know you don't want to go and leave your important documentation in the room just laying out you know again exercising that wisdom and making sure that you have what you need at all times so and then um specifically for traveling to east africa like tea tree oil because it helps with like mosquitoes and stuff like that so tea tree oil um your vitamins if you have take your daily vitamins or herbs like i like to travel with my vitamins and herbs because you're in a different country you're in a different space so you know you're not acclimated to that climate and that weather so you just want to have what you need in order to like make sure that you feel good and you can enjoy your time fully while you are there. Um, always a nice light jacket or something to cover up because even though it may be warm in the daytime, it may get a little brisk at night. So having something like that. Um, and then if you know me, y'all, I am like the queen of snacks. I call it like safety snacks. Like I'm always going to have some type of snack with me. I even take like bottles of water, like I'll pack it in my um, carry-on. I mean, not my carry-on, sorry, my check bag. So you can't take liquid in your carry-on on the plane, but, you know, little travel size things. But um, I'll pack it in my check bag, and then I always take like a, a water bottle that I can use throughout my trip. And I always have some snacks. You can take food on the plane, you know, as long as it's not liquid. Um, you can take snacks, you can take your own personal little food options. I am the queen of having a snack on me, so that's another tip. And then as we're on the topic of like what to bring, you want to keep in mind that like the certain things that they say not to bring, don't bring it because you don't want them to stop you and check you, you know. So um, I usually travel with some type of safety with me but you want to make sure you you know abide by the country's guidelines you know you can't take anything like that on the plane but you can definitely check it in so you just want to make sure that you look up and know that you are abiding by the rules that that country has you all already know flight prices have gone back up um you know it's not like how it was a year ago when you could get a round trip flight for you know fifty dollars a hundred dollars not to you know africa the continent of africa but you know they had some really inexpensive flights but now you want to make sure you plan ahead so if you know that this is something that you want to do plan ahead like buy your ticket a year in advance six months in advance so that you can get those really good travel deals and those flight prices and then looking into where you want to stay i like to switch it up like sometimes i like the luxury resort option and then sometimes i like the local hostel option where i can meet 
different people or you know airbnb where i can have a little bit more space it's really just up to you i would say of course again make sure that you do your research you look at the reviews you know make sure it's a reputable reputable business do they have a website do they have a contact number a whatsapp number that you can text usually most businesses out of the country they will have like a whatsapp or email that you can contact um people who work there if you have any questions so you want to make sure it's a reputable company and that you're not just choosing some place or you know oh it looks nice on the picture i'm just gonna book it like talk to the people converse with them before you spend your coins okay so currency um you want to make sure like when you are first traveling into the country get a little bit at the airport um i like to always exchange a little bit at least so that when i am you know out and about in the country i'll have something on me and then usually you will be able to like ask locals or you know where you're staying at is there a currency exchange place that has a good rate because the airport exchange rate is not always the best you know they're definitely gonna tax you so but you still want to make sure that you have um a little bit of you know that currency on you the best is to have bigger bills you get more for the bigger bills it's like they don't really like exchanging like one dollar five dollar bills or t even 10 or 20s 20s will pass but you know like they like those bigger bills 50s hundreds so that's just something to know you'll get a better exchange rate so for tanzania they use tishalings Hey. <laughs> so um one US dollar is about twenty three hundred tishlings or shillings, however you wanna say it. So that is about you know, twenty four hundred is a little bit over a dollar because it's like twenty three hundred and some change. So you all want to be mindful yes your dollar goes a long way but the pricing is different so you know you might go out to eat and it's like seventeen thousand tishlings or something like that but you know in hindsight you only pay just a few us dollars so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, just keep some money on you. Don't keep all of your money in one place. If you're going out, you don't want to just be flashing a wad of money because then people are going to upsell you on everything. You know, in school, you probably learn how to bargain. Bargaining is your best friend. Now, you don't want to cheat people because this is their livelihood but you also don't want to be cheated so you gotta stay real in tune and on beat with that okay and then the last point that i would like to hit on is you know overall safety now when you're going you want to like i said you want to plan um anytime i'm traveling you know i make sure you know someone has my itinerary they have the location at where i'm going to be staying any ideas for excursions that i think i might want to do like i send that over just because you know safety is such a big concern but that's anywhere like anywhere you go that's not just on the continent that's not just you know in the u.s anywhere you go you want to make sure that you are putting your safety first you know it's good to like meet people and network like i'm the queen of that but also it's not like you want them to everybody to know where you're staying at because people will straight up ask you oh where are you staying you know and you know you just kind of want to have some discretion use you know of course exercise wisdom and you know use your discernment as well but just be mindful that you still are a foreigner in a different place you may fit in you may blend in but as soon as you speak unless you can speak the language so i can get by because i'll say a few words or whatever and then i go about my business but you know 
you want to make sure that you are just being cognizant of your surroundings and then to touch on that i would say definitely try to learn a little bit of the language um a good app you know is like the google translate offline app so that it can work anytime anywhere even if you have service or you don't have service and then this way you can at least still communicate with people if you need to so try to learn the language they really appreciate that and then you also grow and expand in your ways that you are able to communicate across the african diaspora so thank you all so much for tuning in i hope that you found this video helpful this was just like a little talk chill session because i had been getting so many questions from you all if there was something that i didn't touch on please um ask me in the comments below and i can answer them to the best of my ability um i appreciate you all for tuning in make sure you like comment share and subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you all again soon peace